As I say, you might know all too well the Salvation Army is in full swing with their Red Kettle campaign, but you might stop and wonder just how long has this been going on every single holiday season. So joining us live now to share more on the importance of this campaign, we have Lieutenant Colonel Robert Webster and Captain Cassie Gray. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Oh, Absolutely. thank you for having us. So why don't we start with how's it all going? It's going great. You know, this is the 75th year for the uh, the Tree of Lights, and uh, what an exciting year it is. You know. Uh, we have our red kettles out. We have all sorts of things going on. Angel tree distributions tomorrow. Uh, we continue to work with some really great people like uh, Rick Horton with the, uh, the Cardinals and uh, Marty Lyons with Ameren. All of those people and all of our great volunteers are helping us make this work and what a, what a wonderful time of the year. It really is and everyone's stepping up and, and you said some of those exciting names. So what is the goal of this campaign? We just have a small goal. Yes. Six point two million dollars. <laughs> okay, okay. Just, and that's just for the St. Louis area, yeah. and then it's twelve point one when you take in the rest of Missouri and Southern Illinois. Wow. So it is quite a challenge, and uh, it's a lot of hard work, and it's uh, a lot of dollars that go into the red kettle one at a time. It really adds up. But then we also have people who give through the mail or mm -hmm. through credit cards or in so many ways, and. It's only because of the great generosity of the people of this area that the Salvation Army even exists to be able to help those in need. And why don't we talk about the importance, what these funding is going to. Absolutely. So the funding piece is just absolutely amazing because each dollar, like he mentioned, goes towards the communities, being able to wrap around these families, mm. helping them get food on their table, being able to help with utilities, having our, our building available so that friends and family can come in, stay warm, be greeted, be seen, be loved on. So it's so vital for us to continue to be the hands and feet of Jesus, right? Yes. And wrap around our community and say, hey, we see you. We want to live life with you. We want to help you through each step. Yeah, of course. I know we were just kind of laughing. I was, I used to live in South Bend. And one mm -hmm. thing that I did was actually at the Croc Center, right. the Salvation Army, the toy drive and, and helping the little kids pick out the toys and just, and that's just one little thing, right? That you do, but oh, it was so exciting and it was so uplifting. So how can people get involved in what you all do? Well, there's so many ways to get involved right now because you know we're we're in the middle of it. Yes. Uh, the best thing you can do if you want to help us just by ringing the bell is go to registertoring.com and sign up. It's real simple. You go to registerring.com, you sign up, you put in your zip code, okay. and then after you put in your zip code, all the locations that need bell ringers are going to come up, and you just pick a two-hour slot or a four-hour slot, whatever. You put your name down, and then they're going to send you back a message that says you're all set, ready to go, and be there at this time, and then uh, you get an opportunity to ring. Easy. So Fantastic. it's that easy, but then you, if you want to do other type of volunteering, you can, you can go to salarmymidland.org, 